Look at the dough on the outside just come to life when she smears the ghee on top. A little pizza cutter action, a little bit more ghee. Yeah, why not? You were killing this thing with the ghee. Are you trying to kill me? Are you mad no, at no. me? Today starts the best ever India road trip, a food adventure spanning the massive subcontinent of India. All that smokiness is just gonna affect the flavor inside. Yeah. We'll cover over 1,000 miles of road, hitting big cities and everything in between. I can't even believe that I'm in India right now. <laughs> I'm at a food truck where they're serving beef. Yeah. I'm not dreaming. No. <laughs> Starting in Mumbai, stopping in Pune, then heading south to Goa. These are the sharks. No kidding. They have little sharks here. Have you ever cooked a shark? Yeah, yeah, we eat sharks. Onward to Bangalore and completing our journey on the east side of India in Chennai. Sir, how long have you been selling veal? 40 years. 40 years. Now we're about to hit the road and we've got our custom van ready to roll up any second. Is that... That's fucking awesome. I gave a local designer a few pictures and some ideas, and somehow, this is the result. I don't know if you've noticed a little texture in the design here. This is my face like 500 times. There's a huge one right here. It's almost the same size as my head, which is huge. In Mumbai, we took on the $100 street food challenge. One kilogram of sandwich goodness. Today's mission, get to the city of Pune, a quaint Indian town of only 3 million, packed with glorious local food. Wow, look at that. This is my kind of art right here. Along the way, I'm taking on the most unexpected menu in India. Are people eating the emu? So strap in tight and pack your appetite. Today, we're going road tripping India style. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul. Let's ride. We good. I'm cold red. My service automated. Like data running through my veins. Half the fun of a road trip is finding out what lies in the spaces between major cities. Wild monkeys look down on us from the hilltops as we make our way to the most unique place to get breakfast in all of India. We are at kind of a restaurant just along a local highway here where they are serving up some kind of animal. I can hear it right now. I don't even know what it is. What are these? I've seen black chicken like in China, but it had white feathers. These are black chickens and I mean black, like the beak, the feet, everything is black. I think the skin is gonna be black. The meat is gonna be black. <gasps> Jeez, guys, look at this one. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what the objective is. They said you can go in the emu cage, but don't get close to them. I mean, what else would I do in here? Bro, how do your legs even bend that way? Is that even healthy? I think your legs are hyperextended. Honestly, at the same time, they are majestic and beautiful and also completely terrifying. Hey, don't kick me. This restaurant is a gold mine of unique food. I don't even know where to start. They have at least six different bird species. Guinea fowl, emu, turkey, ducks, normal chickens, but like who cares? And the black chicken, known locally as Karakna. The restaurant manager, Dipshika, is here to help me out. Which one do you recommend? The black one. It is full of B12 and the protein. It's like a vitamin shot. Its bone is also black and bone marrow is also black. Wow, all the way through. Is yes. the heart black? Yes. What? I have so much in common with these birds. This is crazy. That's <laughs> no, no. like me too. Yeah, black and icy. And what about the guinea fowl? Do they eat them? Yes, and uh -huh. the emu's egg also. Uh, oh. <laughs> Good save. She said emu's egg. egg. They're not eating the emu. No, emu is not allowed. The emu's are for looking at. How can we look at them if we eat and them all? I have never tried this strange looking bird known as the guinea fowl. But today, my black heart beats in sync with the karakna. So I guess these guinea fowl will live to see another day. But I do wish they would shut up about it. Hey, 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 keep it down. Keep it down, keep it down. 
Today's chicken dish, Karaknak chicken gravy. The chicken is swiftly captured, then brought to the kitchen. This is super fresh meat, meaning that it's alive. Now the chef removes the feathers, which here means removing all the skin as well. Come to think of it, I can't recall any Indian dish I've ever had that includes chicken skin. The black chicken heart doesn't make the cut either. This section chicken is boiled in water with ginger, garlic, turmeric, and salt. In the meantime, we make the gravy. Start with oil. Toss in ginger, green chili, chopped onion, chopped tomato, ginger garlic paste, green chili paste, and black chicken masala. Masala just means a unique blend of herbs and spices. In India, there are countless varieties of masala for every cooking occasion. Chickens have their own masala? Can I have a sunny masala? My masala would have ground up pop tarts. Is that okay? <laughs> Next, they toss in some black gravy made with caramelized onions, plus ginger, garlic, green chili, and coriander. The smell in here. It's so good. There's no way you're gonna eat Indian food like this and they just put like salt and pepper. It's all about piling on the layers of flavor. Toss in some karaknak parts, coriander leaves, and chicken stock. And now you slowly scoop that steamy chicken into his new little chicken home. Garnish with even more gravy. Wait, there's more food. These here are green emu eggs. And one of these guys equals the same as six chicken eggs. But does it taste the same? Right now, he's chiseling into the egg. He's got basically an escape hole, and then we have an air hole. He's gonna get the egg somehow out of this little hole. Oh. Yes, that was the best sound ever. That is how you do it. You just put your mouth right on it. We're about to make emu egg bhuji. Basically Indian scrambled eggs, but this time with an emu egg. And trust me, this dish will blow your sandals off. In a pan, add in oil and fry chopped onions, green chili paste, chopped tomatoes, salt, turmeric, chopped coriander, and the egg. Scramble until cooked. Then you gotta plate those steamy scrambled eggs right next to the egg shell so the general public knows you're not eating boring old chicken eggs. You're eating a nice big emu. <laughs> I'm fortunate enough today to be eating with myself, which is something I love doing. I eat with myself all the time, by myself. Not that I'm, I'm not lonely. I just like to eat alone, because then you don't have to think about, oh, what part do I have to share? What's yours? What's mine? This is called Romali Kakura. Some people can't pronounce it as good as me, but that was it right there. You want to make this at home? Well, you just got to mix banana, flour, and egg, then roast it on an upside down tawa. Garnish with butter and peanut masala, and bam, food. I'm going to try to just take off a little crisp of it. Whoa, that is a yummy snack. That peanut masala tastes exactly like peanuts. Peanuts. I like that they put the egg of the emu right next to you to remind you of what you're eating. That's very nice. Oh, do you see this? This is the birthday. This is a little heartbreaking, but you need to know for freshness, right? But um, that is technically the birthday of this emu. So next year, October 25th, 2019, we will celebrate the birthday of this emu. And actually, we can just start celebrating now by eating it. <laughs> Now, usually you eat it with bread, but I want to get the pure flavor. Like so many spices, so much masala, layers of flavor in these scrambled eggs. Let's try it out. Oh, it's unreal. There's like a depth of flavor where you just didn't realize that scrambled eggs could be like that. We have some naan here. Make a little sandwich. Oh my God, look at that. Warm, soft butter naan on the outside. Eggy Indian scrambled eggs on the inside. Let's try it out. But yeah. I have had black chicken one other time. I was in China, but the way they prepared it, it was in a Guangzhou style like chicken soup, which the soups there are very bland, no salt. And here is literally the opposite with a flipping explosion of flavor. First of all, look at that cute little leg. This chicken could have been a runway model. Oh wow, that meat is flipping tough. Soak up a little bit more of these flavors and seasonings and then throw it back. Here we go. Oh, the flavors of this gravy with the bread is just completely outstanding. The chicken itself is pretty tough, man. Here, piece of breast. This comes off pretty easily. This is much different than the leg, a bit more tender. Let's take a nice big bite. 
Mmm, it's really good. Like hot. Final thoughts. The meat itself tastes like normal chicken. It doesn't taste like, oh, it's like chicken but blacker. It's not like that. Very firm, but the flavors of the masala, the gravy, it's so delicious. And then when you mix that with the naan, out of this world. After lunch, we're hitting the road once again, bound for the city of Pune. Arriving just after dark, but luckily this city doesn't mind some late night eats. The streets are alive. Warm smiles and curious onlookers abound as we pull up to our first destination, the perfect place to warm up to this city. This alone was worth the drive. Tandoor tea, made from a blend of seven spices and milk poured into a blazing hot clay pot. And that's when the magic happens. The owner got the recipe from his grandmother long ago. I usually have my throat problem. So my grandma, once she put those pots into that fire and uh, pour this turmeric oil into that, when it came out, it was like amazing for me. That clicked and I converted it into tea. These tiny clay pots get used only once. So here it is. It's, okay, it's hot. It's a little bit hot. The menu here, the tea, and plain white buttered bread. Only two items and they're killing it. People can't get enough. Wait, you said this is just bread and butter? Yeah, bread and then butter is put inside this. That's all you're doing here? Yes. We sell around uh, 200 liters of milk one day. 200 sorry. liters? What if you got a cow across the street? <laughs> that would be a good marketing thing, right? Yes. All right, let's cheers. I'll try not to burn my face up. Oh, wonderful spice tea. A lot of ginger taste comes through though. Like low dairy, low sweetness from the sugar, and then ginger. Those are the real strong forces in here. Mmm, I love it. And if you wait a little while, the tea grows a skin on top. It is pure milk. Oh, I love India. India loves milk. Our last stop for the night, Vishnuji Ki Rasoi, a buffet restaurant specializing in tallies. What I like is everyone I see is just getting like little mounds of all these different types of food so they can enjoy so many different flavors. Stainless steel platters piled high with as much as your heart can handle. But we are here for a special treat not included on the buffet. We are here just for the Pudampoli. A famous Maharashtrian delicacy made with a sinful mixture of jaggery, sugar, cardamom, gram flour, and ghee. Like a hot tub full of ghee. What is this one? Chana dal. What? It's a mix of uh, jaggery and sugar. You can have a taste of it. Let's try it out. Mmm, it's really yummy. This mixture is stuffed inside the wheat flour dough. It's then flattened out by the in-house flattening expert. Wow. It's just like a baseball size, and then she just gets this dough. It reminds me of like dim sum. Could you make these in your sleep if you had <laughs> no, to? No, no. Yeah? She said no? no? no. Oh, too <laughs> humble, I say. Throw it on a flat top and loved with ghee. This traditional dessert is usually made during celebrations. It's also good for eating alone in the back corner of a restaurant. A little pizza cutter action, a little bit more ghee. Yeah, why not? You were killing this thing with ghee. Are you trying to kill me? Are you No, no, me? actually we give a bowl of ghee with this. All right, we have I'll it right here. put some ghee on it. More ghee? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it has so much ghee. It has been absorbed. <laughs> So, we'll just put some ghee. The ghee's been absorbed already. We need to put more ghee. Oh my, okay. I promise not to wait this time. It looks like a pita bread on the outside, but actually the roti part is really thin. And then inside, there's all that sweet lentil cardamom stuffing. Let's try it out. Yeah. And by let's, I mean just me. Oh, it's like a big piece of candy. It is not what you would expect because that bread on the outside, it feels like it would be something savory, fried, but the inside, it's like just a big sweet candy sensation. And then it feels like sweet mashed potatoes. I don't know, it's all the over the place. The weight of this thing is 200 grams. 200 grams, yeah. that's pretty big. Yeah. Mm, and just slathered in ghee. <laughs> it's a specialty of Nagpur, our mm. hometown. In Pune, you will not get this anywhere. Wow, that's pretty special. And so you have this whole buffet. People have all these options to choose from, but they are still ordering it. Yeah. That's very special. Wow, man, thank you so much. Just kidding, my head's covered in ghee. <laughs> you don't have to. How about a pound? Boom. Thank you so much. This is awesome.
Next time on the best ever India road trip, we are going deep into Pune for the largest, most gut-busting Indian food you'll ever lay eyes on. I swear for the remainder of this trip, <laughs> any food that is a nine out of 10 or higher, this. Bole, bole, bole. Bole, bole. Be sure to subscribe and follow along as we eat our way across India. And if you're traveling to Vietnam, let me recommend adventuring alongside a guide from One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Pizza. All right, good job, guys. Let's get drunk. <laughs> Just go.